All right, everybody. Welcome back to another Gynecomastia recovery vlog. This is the 12 month recovery update. And I'm sorry it's taken this long, but I always wanted to bring you guys a final, final update. So telling you, you know, everything had healed properly. It was all over. I was done and I was moving on. But fuck man, I, I had the surgery back in uh, November last year, November 29th. Today's date is November the 16th. Okay, so it's almost been 12 months. In 13 days, it would have been 12 months since I had my surgery. And I mean, here it is. This is the results. But as you can see, there's still some discoloration there around the nipple. And if I pinch it, I can still feel a little bit of scar tissue. It's not completely soft. But what I will say on my left side is that this is completely soft. It's completely soft. It's completely healed. Although there is still some discoloration around there. Don't ask me what's going on, don't ask me why it's still there, but all I do know and what I can tell you is that day by day, month by month, it has slowly but surely gotten better. The quicker you're here, the faster you go, that's why where I come from the only thing we know is This scar tissue that I can grab was much bigger. And slowly but surely, I have been massaging it, you're probably like a few times a month, I'll grab it, I'll, I'll press it and sort of try and break it up a little bit with my fingers. Um, you know, here we are. It's nearly 12 months. I have been to the gym today. Uh, one thing, I, one thing I, I'm disappointed at uh, is the fact that I stopped going to the gym probably about six months ago. Uh, two months ago I started up again. I've just taken another two weeks off. Today was my first workout back. Um, and so I thought, you know what, today's the day I'm going to update you guys because it's going to be a 12 month update. But, um, you know, truth be told, I'm not completely healed. So, but what I can say is that, I mean, when I had gyno, okay, I knew, I knew I had this shape in my chest. I knew I did. And I knew the nipple would be, you know, slightly facing down. And if I do decide to continue building out my chest and make it bigger, that's only going to, you know, improve the look of it. So I, you're looking at my chest after a very, very sporadic, six months of training and pretty much not training for six months so I've still managed to maintain a little bit of size the shape is still there and we can only go forward from here so today I'm here to just give you an update of what's been happening since the last one I made I think I made the last one after about five months of recovery um, but like I said thankfully this side is completely soft and healed but man I'll tell you what guys if you have the similar problems to what, to what I had originally, which was hematomas, uh, I would say get them sorted out as soon as possible. This, this fucking discoloration of the skin should have been gone months ago. It really should have. But it seems as though it has a, it has a um, it's sort of associated with what I could feel underneath. Whether, whether what was underneath was scar tissue or whether it was actually blood still from the hematomas, as they subsided the discoloration subsided and this is where we're at now so like I said you know this one is, is slightly more discolored because of the fact that there is still a mass behind there that I can grab although it has got a lot smaller and it's softened out a lot this side you know it's I mean look there is it's nothing it's flat I mean I, I, I can't complain with the result all I complain about is 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 the advice that I received from my surgeon within those first, you know, 14 to 21 days, because what he should have told me was to get it cut open, get the blood out, sh shut it back up again, and and uh, the, the recovery would have been so much faster. It would have saved me so much hassle and fuck, man. It was ah, oh, bruddy. Go and look at the videos, man. It was a fucking terrible recovery, terrible. So all I can hope is that you guys took the advice from me that I said in my videos and your recovery has been you know a lot better than mine because reality is is that even to this day I still get messages on a daily basis I get comments on a daily basis you know there's millions of guys out there suffering from this and that's why I started this series was to help people 
It was to help people, it was to vlog my journey, it was to bring viewers to my channel. I never would have guessed that my recovery would have gone as bad as it did. But it did. And look, I'll tell you another thing. Don't try and get the stitches out yourself. Like, my stitches were in for 21 days, guys. Because of the fact that the cuts weren't healed. And I wasn't prepared to fucking take those stitches out before they were healed. But what that meant is that because the cut sort of opened up and, the, and it, it had to reheal and stuff, the stitches freaking healed within the scab. So when I tried to take the stitches out, it, it was a terrible experience. And not only that, but I'd actually left two stitches inside. So they are a, a what do you call it? They're, they're in an abnormal, abnormality. The, the body rejects them. It's a piece of string sitting underneath the skin. It's not going to like it. And so it took me another two or three weeks to even realize that there was something in there. Thank God I did. Thank God I squeezed the shit out of it and I saw something come out. I was like, what the fuck? That's a stitch. And I took it out and uh, a hole was created. So I went around for like two months with a freaking bandage over this hole because every time I'd fucking exercise, every time it got hot, blood would start seeping out of it. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. And I was here in Alice Springs, I felt by myself, I felt lonely, and um, you know, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. So here we are, 12 months later, I mean, I, I can't complain with the result. I can't. Because I have a flat chest. I have a flat chest now. When I wear a t-shirt, it hangs off of the, the smooth sort of shape of my chest rather than sitting on these, these nipples that stick out. So overall, I'm happy. I feel like it's my duty to bring you this video, but it hasn't been it it hasn't been something I've wanted to do because I've been so disappointed in 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 this extended recovery period. It's been so long, so fucking long, and we're still not there. So, guys, all I can say is uh, go back and watch my videos. If you are about to have your surgery, you know, listen to your doctor. Keep those drains in for as long as as long as possible, uh, wait, like, you'll have these little drains, in fact, some doctors don't put drains in, so, you know, I'm not saying that you have to have them, depending on your surgery type, depending on, on the way that your surgeon does it, um, I guess, you know, some, some surgeons don't believe that it's necessary, although, with what happened to me, I mean, I'd have to say it, it is, because you are going to be bleeding under there, they're cutting out a piece of your flesh, underneath the skin. They're literally cutting out something from your body. Some people's bodies, I, I mentioned this in the last video, some people's bodies are just not going to agree with it. They're not. Why would your body want something to be cut out of it and not fucking kick up a fuss about it? You know what I mean? That's how I sort of see it. And uh, so I guess, you know, today is all about showing you guys exactly what it's like, which is exactly what I'll do. So from the side, this is what it looks like. There is no... There's no, well, there is fat under there, but that's just body fat. That's not gyno. So, you know, if I, if I pull it up, you can still see the line. That's the line. If I was to lose some body fat, this would go away and it would really sort of, the line would really come up underneath the pec there. But at the moment, I'm, you know, 15% body fat, something like that. So it's, it's not. But if I tense it, I mean, you can see it. These lines that come up like that, they were faded out due to the gyno before. Um, on this side... You know, it's pretty much the same. Before, you know, for after five months when I, was, when I made my last video, there was still a, a significant amount of, of blood and, and scar tissue underneath there that I could grab. Now it's, it's, it's gone away, mostly. But like I said, I can, I can still grab a little bit like that. And eventually it'll just soften out so all I can grab is skin, which is great. But once again, you know, if I was to lose a bit of body fat, that line would come up a lot uh, crisper underneath the armpit there and um, yeah that's it so you know I, I just turned the camera on today I didn't know exactly what I was gonna say but uh, you know I hope anyone out there that is thinking about doing it um, I hope you've got something from my videos I hope that this video gives you hope that whatever you go through however long your recovery period is it will work out in the end and it will be worth it because you know I it's, it's, yeah, actually, come to think of it, guys, I'm just having an epiphany right now. I have not worried about my nipple showing 
in my tops since I got the surgery. I don't worry about it anymore, guys. I don't. I literally do not. I've never the fuck. I, I, I don't. I don't twist my nipples before I do anything. I don't try and put black clothing on anymore. I don't fucking. I, I don't think about it. And that's man. Come to think about it, that that's great. You know, that's that's why I got the surgery. So I would not have to worry about it anymore. I went through 15 years of thinking about it every single day. And I don't think about it anymore. So I guess, regardless of how the recovery's gone, it was definitely worth it, guys. And I guess I just had to remind myself of that just then. So, yeah, here we are. This is what I'm looking like right now. Like I said, I had six months off training. Very sporadic, very, you know, my priorities changed. I had a child. Uh, she was born in February. And, um, yeah, but I, I'm happy to say I am back in the gym, so I can only get bigger and better from here. And that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. So, guys, this may be the final video of the series. This is going to be called my gynecomastia surgery uh, 12 months after or no this is going to be called what was it called what what was the original videos called I think it was gynecomastia recovery my my gyno surgery recovery I can't even remember what it's called I'm gonna have to go look at the playlist but guys I'm just here to uh, to let you guys know how it is and uh, you like that I do because I couldn't do that before there was no line here. This was way out like this, and this was way out like this, and I would never have been able to do that. So peace out, everybody. Have a great day. It's not about vanity. This is about, this is about getting through an issue that I'd had since 12 years old. Um, I'd went through so much fucking shit. But I'll tell you what, once you leave high school, it stops. No one gives a fuck. At high school, it's a bit different and what I will say is that no doctor is going to look at you if you're at high school because the reality is is that it can go away by itself and I would recommend you to give it that chance and I would also recommend you to get in good shape try and build your chest through some press ups or get in the gym start doing some bench press some cable flies try and build that chest really see what you're working with get lean enough so that you can have somewhat of a line underneath here and uh, then then you'll see what you're working with and uh, then you'll finally really see if you've got gynecomastia or not. I had people try and tell me that I didn't have it. To those people, I say fuck you because you've got no idea what you're talking about. And I've actually made a video previously saying, did I really have gyno? And I showed you guys some of the last pictures I ever took of me um, with gyno. And they're actually the pictures that I sent through to my surgeon before I, I got the surgery done. because. I only went there, I met the surgeon on the day. I didn't actually go for a consultation. It's, it's due to the fact that I live very remote. I live in a place called Alice Springs and um, you know, there's no surgeons here in town. So it took me a, a trip, a week long trip and I still came back too early. And uh, you know, you live and learn guys, but we're here, we're here now and uh, we can only go forward from here. So hopefully, this is gonna be the second to last video. The next one will be whenever all this discoloration is completely gone, but I tell you what, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. And um, like I said before, man, I just had an epiphany that I haven't worried about it in months. And that's great. It's a fantastic feeling. So it was all worth it. I wish you guys luck. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like button. If you wanna subscribe, even better. I'll see you in the next one.